This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is a Thursday, June 1st, 2017, and the title of this rant will be, uh, The Loser is Creating a Worldwide Leadership Vacuum. So, let's go back to the end of World War II. At the end of World War II, the United States was the undisputed uh, economic and political uh, and also military power in the world. Uh, and you could also say that probably started around 100 years ago when we got into uh, the World War I, right around, what was it, 1917? Yeah. Uh, but um, especially based on last week's performance of Mr. Minority over in Europe, uh, the betrayer of trust is, ex is ceding that leadership role. And that leadership role is not just political. That is political. That is corporate. That is a technological leadership. And by whether he stays in the Paris uh, Climate Accords or not, uh, it may be the way he has been acting, the death knell of that leadership. Uh, and guess what? The world is ready to move on. So right now, Germany is the largest trading partner with China in Europe. Uh, the European Union is looking to dramatically increase its trade with India. And whether uh, we stay in the Paris Climate Accords uh, or we don't, there will be a statement out from the European Union and China. And this is the first time they've ever had a joint statement indicating that global climate change is an imperative that must be dealt with and must be dealt with right away. And that they're looking at that in terms of investment and breakthrough technologies that will create jobs both now and in the future. And so what we have is India, China, and Europe. It's looking to move on. If the United States is not willing to have that type of leadership, which it doesn't appear to be doing right now, they're ready to move on. So in terms of, let's just say, global climate change, these countries, their corporations, uh, the government, they're looking at setting, let's just say, realistic, attainable reduction goals, thereby encouraging their scientists, their engineers, their biochemists to look at, invest, and to make breakthrough technologies in wind power, solar power, uh, geothermal power, uh, tidal power, uh, battery storage, biofuels, and a whole host of other types of things. And then the question, the question is, where is the leadership from the United States? Where is Mr. Minority? It appears as if he is ceding that role. And that is not good for the United States.